everyone it is Danny and welcome to this update video and I hope that you're all having a really great day thus far and so of course we're going to be talking about that rainfall activity expected across the Caribbean that has already begun for some areas and so if you've been one of those persons longing for some rainfall well I've got some amazing news but if you live in some areas though you will not be receiving as much and so this video is going to break down all that you need to know and so before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update Okay, and so as we return to this satellite imagery here, we can definitely see that there is quite a bit of activity, especially in the northwestern Caribbean and also in the vicinity of the Bahamas, where we have those white dots that you see, those sparkling white dots, uh, that is actually indicating lightning strikes. And so there we have that uh, cluster of convective activity just off Belize and the Yucatan. And actually, this was inland of the Yucatan last night. I actually kept this satellite imagery here this is what it was and this is what it is now so it's now offshore and we can see that there is a lot of cloudiness uh, and showers across parts of the Caribbean and of course as time goes by and as we head into the next several days this is going to be the trend where we're having this increased rainfall activity so uh, with the atmosphere becoming a lot more moist within the area it's going to be more conducive for those showers to develop and so uh, for many areas, as I said, that is starting today. And the areas that are going to be impacted by this include, of course, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, parts of Central America, such as the Yucatan, of course, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua. And then eventually we're going to see some areas such as uh, Hispaniola and Puerto Rico feeling some impacts as a result of this front. And so not only is there going to be that increased rainfall activity, but also a temperature dip will be possible for some areas. So let's go ahead and look at those maps and then we will return and see how much rainfall is expected as we progress into the end of this week. So we're looking at the Euro model here and so we can see that this is of course a temperature anomaly map and if you're not familiar with it, where we have the cooler colors which is those shades of blue go into those shades of purple that is indicated below normal temperatures meanwhile the white indicates that things are pretty much normal but the warmer colors indicate that there are above average temperatures and so along with a cold front it's usually accompanied by uh, a mass of cool air and so in this case uh, that is likely to make its way into parts of the northern Caribbean so as we head to tomorrow the Euro model is expecting that uh, we're going to see some of those below normal temperatures across parts of the Caribbean and the northern Caribbean to be specific and then as we head to near the end of the day here we can see that uh, the areas in the Caribbean expected to feel impacts include uh, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Hispaniola. So these areas here are likely to feel more of that temperature drop and then eventually uh, Puerto Rico and parts of the Leeward Islands. So uh, that is something that is on the horizon along with the rainfall. So And so as we go ahead and take a look at what the models are expecting in terms of the uh, rainfall totals, let's start out with the GFS here and we can see that uh, it's mainly for the Northern Caribbean as a result of that front as I said that's going to be receiving quite a bit of the rainfall or most of that rainfall activity we see mainly those shades of blue uh, some of those spots of lilac indicating maybe uh, two inches or so of rainfall and this is the rainfall totals expected between now and near the end of Saturday so this is not all expected just today but it is rather how much rainfall is expected between now and then however the euro is showing higher totals for some areas such as Jamaica so uh, euro expecting that there is going to be a lot more rainfall across the region between now and then and so in the midst of all this, you might notice that there isn't really much expected across parts of the Eastern Caribbean. So uh, unfortunately, if you're from one of those countries, the Lesser Antilles, the ABC Islands, Barbados, Trinidad, sadly, you guys won't be receiving as much rainfall 
uh, from the front. So uh, even right now, looking at these satellite imagery, we can see the contrast in weather conditions where we have a lot more of that inclement weather across the Northwestern Caribbean, but you guys are in the clear. So unfortunately, as a result of where that front is coming from, you guys will not be feeling much impacts at all from it. But of course, for the Northern Caribbean, I'm going to be keeping you guys updated on all that is happening uh, as this front is going to be making its way by and inducing all the activity. And as the other is going to be uh, resulting in increased activity across the region as well as we progress into the early part of the new week. And so that is pretty much it for this update video. And I hope that you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share thoughts there and of course remember to always be with wise.